welcome back to another Keyless Getting Started video. In this video, we're going to talk about authentication methods. Authentication methods are mechanisms that humans or machines use in order to prove that they are who they say they are in order to access a service. In our case, we're talking about accessing secrets in a keyless, and workloads in humans can access a keyless using various methods, including the web console, browser extension, CLI, and our SDKs. We also offer an extensive range of plugins and integrations, as well as a variety of authentication methods, which you can see here in this documentation page, generally split between machine and human identities, and they can be used together with role-based access controls to ensure users are granted access to the specific secrets they need. The list you can see includes integrations with OIDC, SAML, LDAP, as well as Cloud IAM and Kubernetes. It's important to note that Cloud and Kubernetes authentication methods that we offer actually enable authentication without the need for a password or API key. So in this example, we're going to go ahead and demonstrate creating a simple API key that will generate login credentials for either human or machine access. But in this case, we'll only show you how a human user will use it to log into their account for this video. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our console, click on users and auth methods, go ahead and click new choose API key, click next. We'll call this API auth one, and you can set your TTL here. And you can also choose to require subclaims. In this case, we're just going to do the basic setup. Go ahead and click finish. And on your screen, you're going to see your authentication method here with the access ID and access key, which you're going to want to go ahead and save for later in order to make use of. So you can go ahead and save it to a CSV file, for example, or you can go ahead and just copy the information and then go ahead and click close. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing, except we'll do this from the CLI. In the CLI, we can see that we have our command ready to go. We have a keyless auth method create API key minus N API auth2. We don't want to trample the previous API key name because if we tried, it would give us an error. When you go ahead and click enter, it's going to go ahead and give us the details. As we can see here, we have our access ID and our access key, which we can save for later. So that's how you create a new API key authentication method for a keyless from the UI as well as the CLI. And in the next video, we're going to talk about how to use role-based access control and access roles in order to give specific permissions to this authentication method. Thanks so much for watching.